What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for a Hub. Uh, it's about 10.24 p.m. Eastern Time. No longer Turks and Caicos time. Um, it's February 10th, 2018. And we're coming to you with a brand new Bitcoin trading video. So uh, hit the subscribe buttons, notification bells, upvote, resteam. We are back. Sorry for the bit of the uh, hiatus there, but, um, you know, sometimes uh, family just comes first. And... On top of that, my Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi was just horrible over there. So it was very, very difficult to get to get much really of anything trading or videos done at all. Uh, I was actually um, <laughs> actually uh, uh, emailing my brother whenever I did have uh, I did have some trades and did have service uh, in order for him to go ahead and put my trades in. As sad as it sounds, but. Um, yeah, so here we are. We're back. You'll be obviously hearing from us on the same regular basis that you have before in the past. So I kind of just got in the door about 20 minutes ago and um, just kind of started pulling up these charts. So I wanted to get get out to you guys as quickly as possible. I miss you. Maybe you miss me. I'm not sure, but I miss you guys. <laughs> so um, daily chart Bitcoin. And, you know... I did actually in the car ride over have a few minutes to take a look at kind of what are other other people saying in the market and stuff like that. And everybody's saying that this is a bullish wick. I'm still not convinced. If this was a bullish wick, man, we would have seen this thing really kind of shooting up. And what I when I was w watching it in the car, uh the market was actually higher than it is right now. And I wanted to I wanted to um do a video then but obviously clearly I couldn't because <clears throat> I did feel like the market was going to fall off and the market is doing exactly that right now I mean, it's not a huge sell off but it is coming down and I still don't believe that this is a bullish wick and I see comments all over the place saying up oh, it was a bullish wick um have the market come up here and then I'll then I'll then I'll agree with you yeah it was a bullish wick this mm, no it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't um it it doesn't sell me just yet and you maybe that's just my skepticism but i'm 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 not sold yet so let's zoom in here a little bit four hour basis i'm trying to remember the last time we made a video it was probably somewhere around here uh if i'm not mistaken and uh you know the market came down it retested this large triangle where the bottom of it is uh, is this blue line and it's you know it really tested this thing quite quite heavily from from various different uh perspectives from the bottom and from the top and from the top again so and then we're moving off here and then i just started counting some waves when i kind of got in the door and you know uh threw the kids to bed and stuff like that um and then i started making the video so Let's look at one hour real quick. Um, and so I just started counting some waves and stuff and trying to look at some patterns. And I just wanted to see, make sure that this was kind of like a really a one, two, three, four, five. And it was. And you kind of have to go into like a half hour, even like 15 minutes to go ahead and take a look at that. I think this is going to be another one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we had come, we have come well past the four right here. And that is, um, that's pretty significant because what you want to see if this was truly bullish, you don't want to come past the four. Okay. You don't, you want this thing to have an ABC correction. It can come down deep into the fourth and then it can then come shoot back up. But what I think, uh, we may have is a more of a deeper correction. And when, when I was in the car when I was in the car, I think we were like around here. And I was like, mm, this look sounds like this thing is gonna kind of come down and even break break this low right here. What I was able to visualize was this. This looks like a large bearish flag. And I know I talk about them all over the place. I mean, here's here's another one. Um, they're just all over the place. In particular, with this sell off with Bitcoin. You know, this 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 large pr protracted sell off with Bitcoin. Um. And right now the market's about 8097 This is on Bitstamp. I would not be surprised if this sells off 
and it either hits this this uh, line right here about 7550 or it comes down to this lower blue line here if it does that I need to start counting waves because if that's the case if that's the case then um, I need to see what patterns are going on if the patterns are going on that 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 look as if this is a larger like um, uh, you know uh, you know five three five correction three three five correction you know of, of, a, of a larger magnitude I'm not going to get into that just right now then we could be going down to much lower lows and I know I'm going to start getting um, some more you know hate mail here but that's really what I'm seeing um, and much of it is because of this again I'm not sold as this being a a, a a bullish wick I may be wrong but you know tell me I'm wrong when the markets you know up around these 10,750 level okay where we have to break through a lot of different resort re resistance levels in order to get in order to get to there the next thing um, that I do see is kind of like a reverse head and shoulders um, this is the left shoulder, this is the head, and this would be the right shoulder. I don't like that really all that much either. Uh, reason being is because this right shoulder is really kind of off to the side. But I would really want to see this right shoulder come down, maybe even come below this lower blue line right here from the, from the larger triangle. You know, then create a true bullish wick come back up much quicker than what has gone over here and then the volume to be huge I want the volume to be big and then I will be much more bullish um, but until I see that I'm really not I'm really not all that bullish just just yet so um, all the resistance lines that this thing could run into you know we have these two uh, let's say I'm saying in the event that the market doesn't go down if it starts going up again let's pull this out to like four hours um, yeah four hours here we go resistance lines that we could run into going back up everything going on here I mean draw it on your own charts you'll you'll see what's going on right here these are all there's all nests of them. It depends on where this happens. Um, but this is about 8,400, you know, call it. Um, could it be even a little bit low, like 8,150. <clears throat> That's if this kind of goes sideways and then it turn, it chooses to turn up again. Another resistance level right here is a 9,000 level. That's a big one. It looks like it's it's the market has kind of bounced around there for, for quite some time. Another thing I see people doing, and I don't particularly, I don't particularly, um, uh, I don't particularly, I don't know, subscribe to it, is they start forcing triangles into here. Um, I love triangles, don't get me wrong, but I don't really think that there's really any much, much, you know, really of triangles. I've seen some triangles, you know, where, you know, people putting stuff like this um, I don't I don't really I don't really see it uh, just yet I don't see it at all actually um, and there's other triangles in here that you could that you could possibly draw I'm going with the the bearish flag right now is kind of my primary why because it's happened so many times before in the past and like nine out of ten of them have really tr truly uh, shown as a sell-off. That's another reason why I'm skewing things here to the bearish side, then, then, then the then, then the bullish side. Also, QQE indicator. You know, it crossed over right about here. Okay, that would be like this candle right here. Let's zoom in real quick. This is on an hour basis. Yeah, crossed over right here. This large candle. So, uh, yeah, that's that's really what I'm seeing right now. If we zoom out real quick. Let's take a look at the bigger picture, and let's delete this. We don't need this junk. 
<clears throat> I would love to see that the largest, larger descending wedge is really truly the uh, the, the 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 pattern where this were to where the market were to come up here. This small little tri this other triangle right here that we have had drawn for quite some time, I never really liked it all that much. And what makes me like it even less is this right here because I really don't feel like this is a bullish wick. You know, this, this looks like a bullish wick. This, no. But it could be. There are large ones like this. And the only thing that will make me eat my shorts is the market, boom, going up. And I would gladly do that <laughs> if that's the case. So let's hope that this doesn't sell off, uh, you know, all too much, you know, back down here to these lower, these lower levels, uh, meaning these lower levels like 6,200 right around here. If we come down and hit the 6,200 level, then I think we have something a completely different animal than what uh, than what we're drawing here, and it's really kind of like the, our plan D or E. Uh, that we that, that that obviously we have in the in the in the, in the background. So, with that said, we're going to leave it there. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, let us know. Uh, subscribe, upvote is always greatly appreciated. Happy trading. We'll be speaking to you guys quite a bit. Speak to you soon. Thanks.